G'day humans, Chris Dead here. Today I'm reviewing the Samsung Bespoke AI washer and dryer. Now, I've been kind of uh, getting really intrigued by the way that these houses are becoming these smart houses, but if you get a lot of products from the same brand, they talk to each other and they just become this huge hub of internet of things which basically makes your life a lot more efficient, a lot easier. So I've been spending some time in this apartment which Samsung set up with these devices just to check them out and go through them all and they're pretty damn impressive. Like as someone who just understanding where the technology is kind of going and what it can do on these higher range stuff that I don't get near in my own home, uh, it's kind of blowing me away a little bit. So I'm going to take you through uh, some of the cool features about this. Uh, now first off you can see the design obviously it looks pretty rad. This does come in white. Uh, this has a, a nine, the washing machine has a nine, a 12 and an 18 kilogram size. This is a 12 if you can believe it, even though the footprint is so small, that's, that's a 12. And this is the dryer, I think this is a nine kilogram dryer, I think there's a 10 and a 12 as well. Uh, I might be slightly wrong on that. Um, now they've got the tempered glass front, which I think is a new addition for this 2023 range. And a much sleeker design, like obviously there's no buttons or anything there. There is a screen, so when it's on, you know, it, oh, it plays lots of songs. Uh, you can see lots of information on here, theoretically. There we go. Uh, which shows everything that you're doing with the dial, but none of those kind of old buttons are all gone. But you still do have this big analog dial, which I like, because I hate having been solely reliant on buttons, because I find, especially these touch buttons, are just too smoochy. You've got to get them from the right direction. They're just, they're annoying. The an good old analog, never let it go. Uh, so that's kind of, and one of the interesting things that they've, I've heard is that in Australia, unlike other places, uh, our laundries tend to be more walk through. This one isn't, but because we're such an outdoor country and the, we have, you know, the backyards, big houses, uh, a lot of people have flow throughs and laundries to the, from the inside to the outside. So a lot of, a lot of guests and so forth walk through your laundry to get into the backyard. Uh, and so they've taken a bit of a stronger approach on actually making these things look good. And I think they do look good. Um, now, as I said, this is the bespoke AI uh, washer. Now the AI bit's the really cool bit, right? So in here, we've got AI wash, which you might be able to see. And when you set it to this setting, it basically does all the work for you. So the Samsung um, representative who was taking me through this product when I first got here, was pointing out that when they did their surveys and their studies, they found out that most people just go to quick wash or just take the most easy setting because they don't know what to do. And I'm definitely in that bracket, right? So I, I, just, kind of do, I just kind of do the same setting every time I use a washing machine. What the AI wash does is it actually can sense, it first it like douses your clothes, works out how much it's soiled, the water, like how much dirt goes into the water, works out how much it's soiled, then uses that to kind of work out how much water it needs uh, in here, there's two compartments, which I might be able to show you. It's a little bit tight in here, but there's two compartments in here which you can fill up with detergent, up to about 30 washes worth of detergent. So there's detergent in here and fabric softener in here, and I'll talk a little bit about the app in a sec. But within the app, you can tell the tell this machine what you put in each, so it knows, and then it will auto dose based on what the AI works out your load is, what type of clothes, the AI can work out what type of clothes you got based on the weight, it can work out uh, how soiled it is and all this type of stuff and then, and then it auto delivers everything and sorts it out, uh, which is really, really cool. So you don't actually need to know. Now you can, you can, like there's, the, you can go through, there's like, that's cotton, bedding, rinse and spin, there's a, there's a super wash that'll just wash, don't do a load in 39 minutes, um, towels, wool, and all, all the bits and pieces, right? That you can choose between if you want to do it manually. Plus in the app, you can do your own customized things. Uh, or you can just do that AI wash and it's just going to work it out for you. Now what's really cool is because it's all part of one ecosystem, that's going to tell the dryer what you just did. And because the dryer now knows what you've done here, the dryer now knows what setting it needs to do. <laughs> which, is, which is wild, right? Uh, and all this stuff comes up on the app. And in this particular apartment, they've also got a Samsung TV set up out there. And because that's also connected to Wi-Fi and it's all connected to the one kind of network through the app, when this finishes, it actually pops up on the TV and says your washing's finished. Uh, so again, it's like really kind of nifty and efficient. You can obviously set timers on this as well. So you can set it up so that it will 
you know, finish its load when you, when you kind of get home. Um, so, you know, if you know you're going to be home from work at a certain time, it doesn't have to sit there all day. Uh, they've got this uh, micro, what's it called, micro plastic setting. I'll see if I can find it in the exact wording. Um, oh, let's turn it on and off. It is very musical. I've heard people complain about these musics. I've, I've seen uh, that they will have now as opposed to the old beep, beep, and stuff they used to do. I love them. I don't know what their people's problem is. Um, there's a 15 minute quick wash that you can do for just one, uh, I think it's one kilo of stuff. Um, let's see if I can find this microfiber. Oh, there it is, less microfiber. So what this does is this is a, a wash suit you can do which is, uh, it's not so agitated. So you can see the RPMs here and the temperature and so forth. You can all kind of change this stuff, but depending on what you choose, it will do it as well. But uh, the microfiber thing is all about stopping to agitate the clothes so much that puts heaps of microplastics in the water, which then ends up going down the drain and going into the ocean, right? And they're finding all these microplastics in all these horrible places like our drinking water. So uh, this, um, this setting allows you to put on something that's kind of might be really plasticky and then do it in a less agitated way so less movement less rpms more it's got it's got magnets around it that kind of keeps it kind of stable and that then um doesn't means it doesn't release as many microfibers so pretty cool um, the energy efficiency on this thing is mad i think this is five star uh, energy but the water as well um, so some of the some of the stuff it does is it it bubbles the detergent so it's got this, I think it's just called bubble or something. Um, but basically what happens is that bubbles the detergent as it goes into the clothes and that allows the detergent to get further into the clothes uh, and do a more efficient job. So you're not using as much detergent, you're not using much water, all that kind of cool stuff, right? Uh, so yeah, needless to say, it's, I'm kind of blown away by how much these things can now do. Uh, and as I said, it talks to the dryer. Now the dryer doesn't have as, have as, as, as many fancy, incredible features as this but it's uh, got a nine star energy rating, I think. Yeah, nine star energy rating. And uh, it all comes down to using this refrigerant instead of electricity. So it's like I got an uh, inverter within it. So that does all the, um, kind of does all the heating now. Uh, and being able to just kind of allow these two things to talk to each other is um, really strong. And the other really think, cool thing this does is it uses steam uh, to basically blast the clothes and get rid of all the bacteria and, and microbes and uh, aller allergens, things like that. So you got, you use a steam to do that and it gets 99.9% .9 of bacteria they claim and then it drains the water into this little compartment here which you can then lift out when it um, fills up. Apparently it takes ages to fill up uh, but you can also plumb it in if you want so you don't even have to worry about that. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the dryer uh, is definitely like obviously it's a sister product to this washing machine, which is doing some incredible stuff. Uh, but this is no slouch either. And what it impresses me most as well is how efficient these things have got nowadays. If you're thinking about this kind of smart home idea about kind of getting a lot of products from the same manufacturer, and they all do it, like Samsung does it, Hisense does it, LG does it, they're all kind of moving in that type of direction. Uh, it is pretty cool what you can achieve out of it, especially if you're building a new home and you've got the capacity to do that. Now. Uh, I'm pretty impressed by these products. I'm pretty impressed by what they're trying to do. I'm pretty impressed by the efficiency and features you can use it and how easy it makes washing and, and the drying process. So definitely worth considering if you're in the market, the Samsung Bespoke AI washing machine and dryer. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chris Dead. Until next time. Yeah.